Hello, hello, my friends. Audrey here. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the Hoya that are on my favorite Hoya list. I don't think I ever did a Hoya favorite video before. I did mention in the past video and tell you guys which Hoya are on my favorite Hoya. So I think you might can guess some of it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the top five of my favorite Hoya at this moment. I hope you enjoy it. Let's start this video with Kim Tae Anna. I probably butchered his name, I think. Yeah. But look at this Hoya. It's such a beautiful Hoya. I'm a sucker for the variegations on those leaves. So, yeah, this one is definitely one of my favorites. But look how beautiful it is. It has a smaller leaves with a kind of cluster pattern of growth and beautiful leaves. Yes. So, it's definitely one of my favorites. And it's not finicky Hoya at all. I just put this one in the pot in a sunny location and it just keeps growing and there's no setback whatsoever and it's not a fancy Hoya. Next, Hoya Calistophala. I'm sure you all can guess this one. It's actually on a lot of people's favorite Hoya list. But well, look at this Hoya, it's so beautiful. It has a beautiful veining on those leaves. It's a light green leaves with a darker green veinings on individual leaves. And if it's under strong light, actually the new leaf will turn pink. Right now it's actually green. Oopsie. But when it first comes out, it actually a pink leaves. It's not a fast grower. It actually takes a sweet time to growing. So I got this whole year with I think two leaves in the in the summer last year. So it was not small growing whole year. I guess it actually going to be a pretty beautiful whole year specimen at this moment. And it's in Leica, as you guys can see. And all my Leica Hoya this winter kind of in a very not so good condition. So the top tips already dried up. So I'm gonna pour this Hoya back into soil, maybe in this week or next week. And hopefully it will can stimulate this Hoya to grow a little bit more. But yeah, it's such a beautiful Hoya. It's definitely one of my favorites at this moment. Next, my Hoya Sunrise. I did show you guys this uh, Hoya in the past video recently. So I'm gonna make this one short and sweet, but look at this. It's such a beautiful Hoya with a beautiful leaf pattern. And um, if you pull it under the sun, I look like a sun kissed. And a lot of leaf tips. It's actually this kind of uh, reddish color. Uh, so beautiful. Well, you all know my drama with my ho old Hoya Sunrise, so this one is definitely my favorite at this moment. Well, after struggling with the old ho uh, Hoya Sunrise for so long. And I got this one in the past summer too. For those several months, it has been growing pretty good and pretty decent size this moment too. So yes, it's definitely beautiful Hoya. And on my favorite list. Next is the Hoya Finisoni Eye Round Leaves. It looks similar to a Hoya Calistrophella to me. It also have a lighter green leaves with a darker green veining and a darker green edge on individual leaves. 
it's such a beautiful hole yeah i think they have a uh, round leaves this is the one round leaves and they have a uh, long leaves i believe so i probably will get that one too because i think the leaf size will be bigger and longer compared to the one i have right now but i love this hoya yeah. it has a cardboard cardboard texture to it when you're touching it very hard and a weird kind of feeling when you touch individual leaves but so far not a fuzzy hoya yeah at all um and it just keeps growing on its own i don't have to put too much attention to this one either this hoya sit under the east side window and have a morning sunlight and it's just really happy sitting there so yes this one is also one of my favorites i probably mentioned that many times before so yes Last one, the Hoya Crimson Prince. Um, this is a very common Hoya, so uh, I think a lot of people have this Hoya. It's a very vigorous uh, grower for sure, and has a beautiful leaf. If they are not turning green, I have several sections actually turning green. Um, you probably know uh, my story with this Hoya too. It was not a fussy Hoya until last year it started to die off. So I did an emergency report, reporting on this whole year. It looks really bad. Um, after I did that, just uh, they all withered away and not many branches coming out. So I put this whole year outside for a whole summer and uh, from summer to fall until the weather changes and I bring it back. And after that, um, this whole year started to bouncing back. I did chop off those green leaves uh, so uh, to keep it's being variegated but i realized after i chopped those green leaves off it actually the green leaves started going really really quick compared to the variegated one so i stopped doing that as you can see they're growing so fast so yes it's such a beautiful hoya and not fussy at all so it's on my favorites at this moment So those are my top five favorite Hoya at this moment. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please click like and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy growing! <music>